to show that gases are readily compressible and liquids are not. Materials required Plastic syringe without needle Water Procedure Take a syringe and hold in your hand. Pull the piston at its maximum level. Then push the piston into the syringe cylinder and bring it to a certain level. Note and record the reading of the piston in the syringe, that is, initial reading of air. Close the outlet nozzle of the syringe strongly by one of the fingers of the same hand holding the syringe cylinder. Apply a little force on the piston to push it in the syringe cylinder, that is, to compress the air. Keep on applying the force on the piston to push it further inside the syringe cylinder until it stops moving. Note and record the reading of the piston in the syringe cylinder, that is, the final reading. Take the water and the syringe. Pull the piston and fill the syringe with water. Slowly push the piston into the syringe to allow the air pass through the nozzle of the syringe. Ensure that there is no air bubble inside the cylinder. Note the reading of the piston in the syringe, that is, initial reading for water. Again, close the nozzle of the syringe strongly. Apply force on the piston to push it in or to compress the water inside. Note and record the final reading. Observation The syringe with air is much easier to insert than the syringe with water. Results and Discussion Infer from the observations that the gases are readily compressible while liquids are not. This shows that gases have more vacant space between the constituent particles. Precautions Use a piece of cloth to securely close or plug the syringe cylinder's nozzle. Don't use the syringe's needle because it could harm. The motion of piston inside the syringe must be tight. Otherwise, air or liquid may leak from the gas piston boundary or liquid piston boundary.